welcome back to of course dynamic touch i'm jasso konnichiwa so today's video is going to be very interesting i believe that we have found the dupe for the Rev Air. The Rev Air is a robust blow dryer. It's very unique. So this blow dryer is a little bit different. It sucks the air from the outside and uses that air to dry your hair rapidly. So it ends up drying your hair with more air and less amount of heat, which is a win-win situation for the coily, curly girls out there. Ooh. Usually, if you're new to our channel, for the OGs, thank you for sticking around. And then for the new people, Thank you for subscribing. We have noticed the numbers have continued to increase and it's very supporting to us to know that there's other people out there that are supporting this channel. And for the newbies that are out there and who are not familiar with our channel, what we usually do is experimentation here and teaching and guided learning for natural hair, particularly the type four range. Today, I believe we have discovered a new found way that can be comparable to the Rev Air. Today, we'll be comparing the Rev Air blow drying capabilities to these two other products that we believe may be dupes of the Rev Air. So what are we gonna discover today? We don't know, but let's watch and see. And thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, let's get into this video. Like another previous experiment we did in a previous video, we utilized my sister's hair at that point. But today I'm gonna be using my shed hair and we really worked really hard for you guys collecting the shed hair and then stringing it along. We did two methods, one using tape and one using string to create two different types of weft. So we will be utilizing my sample of hair, my own sample of hair today. It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. It's been a day. We gonna get wavy, layer on some diamonds and some pearls Maybe we could go to the mall, get our nails done, get our hair done, we fly Maybe we could holler at the boys, looking so good, just so when they walk back It's always best to use a experimental sample of hair for experimental purposes With the last video, we used my sister's sample of hair It worked extremely well and we got excellent results so it's always best to work on a sample set of hair before working on your very own hair. And since it worked in that previous video, we decided to execute it within this same video. Why change it? Right now I have my shed hair with me. It's now clipped away and it's on the stick. <laughs> it's now clipped off the way and held in place. Right now I have to wet the hair because it is straight and then so it can return back to curly and then we can choose which of the two machines to now blow dry the hair with. I got my water bottle, plus wet the hair. Now that I'm done wetting the hair, the hair has now reverted back to curly. So what I'm going to do right now is just comb out the hair and then blow dry the hair. So now that I'm done combing out the hair, it is now detangled fully. See the curls are popping. I have this piece of paper. I'm gonna slip it right underneath the hair so that you guys can get more of a visual off of my hair now that it's fully reverted. So right now I'm going to use the option number two first. And the reason why I'm using option number two is because it's the one closest to me. Also, I've used the Rever in the past, so I don't wanna use that first. I'd rather use one of the dupes and then the second dupe and then we can go to the Rever. Comparing the two mouthpiece, 
Option number two is definitely much more smaller than the Rev Air. As you guys can see, you can compare the two sizes of the mouthpieces. All right, I'm gonna put this down. First, I'm gonna re-wet the hair because it's now dry. Let me grab a bottle of water. Now I'm gonna turn option number two on. And now the hair is here. Exhibit A, option number two. So let's see how this hair feels, because I'm pretty excited. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited right now. So the hair is a tad bit damp down here, but for the most part, it is fully dry. It's elongated. The hair feels soft. It's pliable. I can divide the hair. No knots because I combed it out earlier. So compared to the initial phase to right now, fully dry. Two thumbs up. That's incredible. I, I'm just speechless. It was amazing. I wasn't expecting that. So now I have returned back with the hair. I wet it before, but it's still not completely shrunken. So right now I have a water bottle mister, which is much more better than the bottle that I was using prior to because the water was just splattering everywhere. So let's mist the hair again and try to get it as wet as possible for experimental purposes. Okay, so I have returned with my comb. I'm just gonna gently comb it out just to remove any like large tangles and then we're gonna move on to option number. So get away from me cuz it's over. Move over, move over. I told you no to over. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. We're now gonna utilize option number 1. So let me show it to you guys. Here is the mouth piece of the hose. And let's compare it to the Rev Air. And I believe it is so, yes, I don't believe. It is true. This is so much larger than this gaping hole right here. So this hole is definitely larger than this hole. The holes for the Rev Air, it's caving inward. So it is getting smaller in diameter as it's heading away from the front of the tool. Whereas this tool, the circumference is equal and it's equal throughout the entire length of the, um, the tubing. So that's why it's different. So here's option number one, here's option number two. Significantly larger, significantly smaller. The circumference of both of these tubes are um, the same measurement throughout the length of the tubing. So when I mean circumference, just the, the rounded edges. So at this time, the hair looks shrunken enough, it is wet, ready for Option number one to do this thing. Wanna be side by side. I wanna be side by side. Do you wanna be side by side? Sword on sword. I don't really know what I would do without you. I know it seems direct, but I can't lie. Not this time. All right. Voila! 
Okay, let's check if the hair is dry. What are my thoughts? Okay, so the hair is drier down below and slightly damp over here, but it's not that damp. But you can definitely feel a little bit of water droplet. It's mostly dry, I would say, 95% um, dry. So the hair is stretch elongated. It's not hot to touch. It is cool, moisturized, elongated, soft. It has extreme amount of stretch, as you can see. The top portion is a little bit wet than um, the bottom. Another thing is option number one has a very forceful suction. So just something to be wary about. So just something to consider when you're edging closer to your scalp. But all in all, it has just as much stretch. You see that? Hold up. So I'm amazed again with this option. I'm so shocked and surprised that something like this could achieve similar results. So another thing to consider with this machine, it is super loud, it's huge. It's a very huge, robust um, machine. I thought the rubber was robust, but this machine is heavy duty. And the price differences is also another thing as well. I really know what I would do without you. I know it seems direct, but I can't lie. Not this time. All right. All right, guys. So I've returned back. And um, here's my bundle of hair. I'm gonna re-wet it. Afterwards, I'll proceed by blow drying it with the red air. And just to be fair, across the board, I'm gonna be blow drying it with cool air. Both of the other two methods, option one and option two, were cool stretching methods. I mean, cool methods of blow drying the hair. So I just decided just to give it a fair shot to use the red air on a cool setting. I don't like Staying up and talking about your family till we fall asleep. I don't like that you know my order when we're out to eat and you pay for me. Cause I don't wanna be someone loving, loving, looking dumb. But you don't care. You go on and make me feel things that I don't wanna feel. So I get scared. Every time you open up, I'm shutting down. Every time you come in, I put so, Let's fix this. Let's fix the hair. Mm. It did take a uh, quite a little while to blow dry my hair using the cool setting. So the hair is finally complete. The hair feels dry towards the end, um, towards the top of the portion of the hair of this bundle. It does still feel a little bit damp, so that's something to keep in mind. No heat being utilized during this route. Another thing is this process did take a little bit longer to dry my hair. But as you can see, it is stretched 
a lot using the cool setting on the rev air. So that's something to consider as well. And even though it did take a little bit longer, it is much more stretched than the other two options that we have available. Something to keep in mind when you're searching for a heatless blow up. two methods to the Rev Air. The Rev Air was the winner. It had the best amount of stretch using the cool setting. Like I said, I opted out of using the heat setting for the Rev Air. So just to have an even playing field for all three items when being compared to each other. The Rev Air was the winner. It was really soft. The finish was really nice. I ended up getting the most amount of stretch. Another thing is it did take a while for the water to absorb. But another thing that I never mentioned is while using the Rev Air, it does state that the hair has to be damp and not super saturated with water. So that's another thing to consider if you're using the Rev Air. Option number two would be the dupe that I would recommend. That one was the winner from option one and option two. The reason why option number two is preferable and much more better than option number one is because the stretch is almost comparable to the Rev Air. It uses the least amount of suction, but still yet it gets similar results to the Rev Air in terms of the stretching capabilities. It is soft, heat free compared to the cool setting for the Rev Air. Option number two, its suctioning capability is much more stronger than Rev Air. It is also cheaper, the cheaper alternative. So I would declare this one to be the dupe. Option number two is much more lighter in weight compared to the Rev Air. Now, the Rev Air has recently updated their Rev Air model. So the new Rev Air is now much more smaller than this current Rev Air that I have. But comparing my Rev Air that I have right now to option number two, option number two is lighter. Now comparing option number three to option number two, option number three is super, super heavy. It's also clunky, it's super big. When comparing the suction of option number one to option number two or the Rev Air, Option number one is much more stronger. So it's very forceful, very impactful, and is very strong. Now, the stretch for option number one is not comparable to option number two or the Rev Air. It doesn't seem to be worth the price point on it. So for me, option number one, I have to let you go. Bye. All in all, the dupes are noteworthy and should be considered whether you're opting to buy and purchase the Rev Air. If you're interested in one of the two dupes that we went over for today, the link will be listed down below. If you're interested, make sure you do check that out. Guess what everyone? We're having a giveaway. God has blessed us so much with a growing community at Dynamic Touch. We are super thankful to God for giving us such an opportunity and the ability to converse with so many people from all over the world. One of our old family traditions when someone gets a new promotion or a job is to share the proceeds for the first check amongst family of any disclosed amount. And yes, I meant share the check. We have decided to share this tradition with all of our Dynamic Touch viewers as well. Therefore, proceeds from our very first paycheck from YouTube will be directly used to sponsor this giveaway. This is a small token of appreciation to thank all of you for supporting us through subscribing, watching, sharing, liking, and by purchasing items through our parent company over at thewaitingroomnhb.com. And now a look back down memory lane of our past giveaways and giveaway winners. For our first ever giveaway on this channel, we rewarded one subscriber with a large gift of hair care products and hair tools that were discovered by us at Dynamic Touch while out shopping. The prize was sent overseas and was worth 300 US dollars. Our second giveaway was the Double the Blessings giveaway, where we bought and sent two subscribers each the whole line of Olaplex. Now we are setting the bar even higher. One of you will have the chance to own the newest version of the Rev Air. Your ticket into entering will be featured in the ultimate dupes for the Rev Air manual that will be found on the waitingroomnhb.com. Upon purchasing this manual, not only will you have access to where you can find the amazing dupes featured in this video, but also you will find the full directions and more information on this groundbreaking giveaway as well. The holidays are right around the corner and this blow dryer would make the perfect gift for your son or daughter, a niece or a cousin, or maybe for yourself. Don't miss out on this opportunity. From what we have experienced with our giveaways, people are always very surprised when they win. 
Those who are part of the Thousand Subbies and Under Club, upon purchasing and entering, will be entered twice because they registered during our Double the Blessings giveaway back in early part of March of this year, where we gave two of our awesome subscribers the full line of Olaplex products. If you are an international customer who would like to purchase this manual but are unable to get through to purchasing at the waiting room nhb.com, please email us directly for another suggested route. The ultimate dupes for the Rev Air manual is perfect for college students on a budget or someone you know who may be struggling to purchase hair care products, hair tools, or hair resources. Feel encouraged to share today's video with family, friends, neighbors, local hairstylists, community members, etc. because it comes with an amazing opportunity to win the Rev Air. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new about the Rev Air and the two dupes that we showcased to you today. Thank you guys again for watching and goodbye until next time. Bye.